Hi everyone, I'm Mackenzie and I'm the Senior Master Trainer here in Metro Detroit. And I'm here to bring you some Brawl 101 tips. So first let's start with that guard position. We're right in front of those cheekbone muscles, squeezing through those bicep muscles. This is your power stance in a brawl class. We're always coming back to this position. Next, let's go over a few different types of punches. First, your jabs. As you jab, we're aiming for the cheekbone in the mirror or in front of your space. We want to feel the power of the back of the deltoid muscles, so squeeze through the shoulder and then bring it right back to that guard position. As you take your cross jab, same thing, arms right up in that guard position and then rotate through the shoulders and the hips together. Use the strength of your oblique muscles to transition you from side to side. Next, hooks. As you hook around, Squeeze through your bicep muscle, opposite arm remains in that guard position, and use your strong breath. Exhale as you swing that arm around, hooks are a full range motion jab. As you take those uppercuts, same thing, coming from that guard, upper. Not only do we squeeze through the bicep muscle, but we also want a squeeze of the glute muscle. So tuck through those hips, ignite those lower abdominal muscles, and feel stronger with every single uppercut that you take. Coming up next, let's go right into those push kicks. So for a push kick, arms in your guard position, you draw your knee up. The purpose of that knee is to gain strength through that supporting side and also to activate your abdominal muscles to gain more support for that push kick that's coming. Thinking about breaking that bar and then stepping it down and then push. We're flexed through the foot, aiming for the ball, aiming with the ball of the foot straight in front of your space. And we still want to think about tucking through the hips, really activating those lower abs to get a strong push kick forward. It's all about power, not about height. Make sure we're not leaning back, but we are taking a slight hinge to get those lower abs going. Same thing for side and back. As you take that side push kick, activate through those side body muscles, flex through the foot, shoulders go right back over your center of gravity. Same thing for a back push kick. Beautiful. Coming up next, last but not least, cross kicks. A little bit different than a push kick. Arms still remain in that guard position. As you take that first step, really find that support, that balance. And then as you take that cross kick, we're gonna aim for the corner of our space. So the top corner of our space, we're pointed through those toes, laces are forward, and then we whip the heel in and drop the leg back down. So down, whip point, step it down. Different than a push kick, we're working through the side seat as well as the thigh, the quad, and really thinking about using our core muscles to help bring the power into that cross kick. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you in a brawl class soon. Barcode love.